everybody. I am so excited to have uh, some of the writing composing team for IAI and the West Side Stories. We've got Julio and Tracy. Um, so excited to have you both here uh, to talk about your show. So why don't we start with, uh, can you guys tell me each a little bit about yourselves, and who you are, and what you do? Julio. <laughs> hey, I'm Julio, and I am the conceiver and co-lyricist of the musical, The Play With Music, and I'm currently living in Indiana and I just moved here. I'm an actor, director, and overall theater maker. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tracy Conyer Lee. I wrote the book and co-wrote the lyrics for III and the West Side Stories, a Puerto Rican play. I live in New York and I am a playwright. That's my master's in, in playwriting, but I've been an actor for 30 years and a director as well. Marvelous. Well, the, now tell us a little bit about your show. What's it about? What do you do? Tell us about your show. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> well, this this is a one person show, um, loosely based on my life, but it's actually got four characters, and I'm not in it. And it's uh, the three different uh, artistic aspects of this human being, and uh, the challenges of of working in this industry as a uh, Puerto Rican man, I guess. Yeah. And say anything else you want to add to that? It's funny. It's a comedy. It's a comedy. <laughs> it's comedy. It's funny. <laughs> it's meta. It's very it's like surrealist meta. Very fun. Um, love that. Um, why did you write the show? And why, like a big thing with our festival is untold stories and, and telling stories that don't typically get told on stage. Um, so can you guys speak a little bit to that? I can do that one. <laughs> um, well, the, the play came about uh, because Julio, years ago, 2016, I believe it was, was planning to do a cabaret of music that exists uh, and make it semi, you know, cabarets are usually semi-autobiographical. Mm -hmm. And so he reached out to me. I had was newer on my writing journey and he reached out to write some banter for the cabaret. I don't do banter. <laughs> so I said, what do you want? What do you want out of this piece? Let's talk about that. Julio and I have been friends since 1993. He was my first roommate in New York. <laughs> and I know his life. I witnessed his early, not his, the beginning of his artistry, but his early uh, some of the early artistry and frustrations of his early artistry as a New York actor at the time, actor, dancer, singer. Um, and I also witnessed his frustration, his at the time current frustrations as an academic um, teaching in, in academia. And so we just started having conversations for a couple of years about what he wanted to say um, because I wanted, if we were going to write a piece that was, that was for him and about him, I know his life is more than banter so much more. And during the, pa the pandemic gave us a reason to really sit and be still and think about what we, what we wanted to say. And it added a layer to what needed to be said about the industry um, about artistry for all kinds of uh, marginalized folk. And um, so the the piece came out of that. I think originally we thought, okay, it'll, it'll still be a, a cabaret in that it'll be music that exists with a story around it. But Julio's story begs for, it's, it's original. And it begs for original music. So, and I tend when I write, I I hear lyrics. So, yeah. it evolved into a play with music as we as we built the story. And his life is too big for one man. That is why I, 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 
the test of four. Yeah, no, I love that concept of like characters to represent these like the, the facets of a person. Um, what? How did you guys get to that idea? Well, they, they may represent the facets of the person, but they're actually four individuals mm -hmm. who are there to put on the play okay. about this person's life. So at times they are that person. At times they are people. There are actors rehearsing the play about that person. So it's it's really uh, fascinating how. Tracy Lee got there, but this this was just the most recent version because it had a different cast of characters before. Okay. So, um, yeah, and I know Tracy Lee warned me that there will be twenty six different versions until we get to the right version, and I think that's that's what artists want is oh, to. For sure. Yeah. We got to the right version. I mean, we're still growing. We're still growing this piece. But in terms of the story that we're telling and the characters that we're using to tell it, I think we've landed where we want and need to be. Nice. Yeah, no, I love that. Um, why should folks come see this showcase perfor performance of your selected portion of the show? And you guys are in a unique position. You're, well, you're not unique. There's, there's a few, there's a couple of pieces we've, we've struggled with. Um, to find the right people to tell these stories. Um, and so why should folks come see the showcase? What do you want to get out of them seeing this portion of the show? Um, speak to that a little bit. Well, I want to, uh, because that was really vague, I want to make sure oh, that, yeah, no, you're good. that people <laughs> understand that. So this is a piece that needs four Latin artists. Yes. And I, and three male identifying and one female identifying. And I don't, I don't think we have that. I'm not even, what do we have Kelly? So yeah, this is, so yeah, to, to recap for everybody. So this is like a bizarrely tough time of year for, I mean, for all of our acting community. And so, you know, one of the things with this festival is we want to tell untold stories and we want to be authentic and we want, like one of the reasons I love your piece is because it's about that. Like, your piece is what this festival is about and made for. And so it was, I mean, as somebody who is, you know, music directing it and producing it and trying to figure this out, it was very frustrating for me to try and like find these people and like have people who are interested and excited, but like they have conflicts or they don't sing or they, you know, multiple things. And like, we went through probably three different actors who had, who, thought they could do it and were excited about it and then had conflicts and then couldn't. And so we're at basically about half of the cast is appropriately cast for the most part. And then we've got two white male identifying actors that are, are, are Matos and Julio, uh, but they're the right ages. So um, there's, so that's kind of where it landed. And like our Augustine is um, Mexican and our Jam Junior, I actually don't know her background entirely, um, but she's uh, she's a woman of color. She's relates to the piece. She's she's doing great um, for Jam Junior, um, but I don't know her specifics. So that's kind of where we've landed and and what it's looking like. We also have run into the problem this year too of, you know, we we typically have you know, really experienced, wonderful, professional, or, like, early in their career professional actors. Um, and this year, we struggled to get those folks because they're in other shows or they couldn't make the time work or they're going back to school or whatever it looks like. And so, like, our Julio is not a theater guy. He was in a rock band or he was in a punk band and he's a drummer. So he's picking stuff up and he's a big appreciator of musical theater and of theater. And so he's doing great, but, like, he is not a theater guy um, by nature or originally. And then on top of that, like, his essentially stepson um, is our Julio. And he's done, like, one high school show. Like, he's hanging it's a good learning experience, but, and, and like backstory and, and myself, like we are very much an educational um, theater company. And so, you know, I'm finding the moments to be an educator, but it is definitely, there have been more challenges this year than we've ever, not ever had, because we started in 2020, but like there's been some challenges. And so, um, 
and with this piece in particular, we're, you know, I want to make sure we're honoring it and being authentic as, as much as we can and still show, like, show this show because, you know, there is a point where, like, you know, if, if you guys as creators won't get what you need out of it, then we would pull it. But I want to, I just want to honor this show and I want to show it and I want people in this community to see it and, and to see the potential of it. And so that's, and then because it's a staged reading, we do get some of that, you know, flexibility. And like one of the things that we, we say before stuff like this is like, you know, we we do not represent the diversity we wish we saw on stage this is a piece about this and here's who should fill these roles and here's why it's important and use your imaginations and here's why we did this and how we worked with and so that's kind of the that was a very long explanation but no well thank you because it's information (laughs) we didn't have and so for me and i I, will julio have his own answer my response oh i just lost nearing my response is people should come see it to support new artists trying new things so so that they can be empowered perhaps to continue down the very very rich and uh needed for support industry of theater yes yeah and i love i love how diverse your works are that you're including in this so i think it's just going to be a fun evening of a lot of different types of stories being told so i think that's why people should come you know be like dabbling into all of these different textures and stuff yeah, this year's class is incredible. Like, we, and which is another reason, like, as somebody who, like, knows the talent we have in this town, I'm just like, the people we have are wonderful, and I love them, and I appreciate them, but even they're like, like literally, Jorge's, Jorge said to me, he goes, you underestimate me. Like, you, or you, you overestimate what I am capable of doing. These people are so talented, and this is, like, so there's definitely, oh, are we okay, sweetie? people viewing my lovely son Nathan is with us today um but yeah yeah so it's 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 one of those things where I'm just like oh you know I feel inadequate or like that we're not doing it adequately but at the same time like I know this story like I know Jorge and Jade who are who are um Augustine and Jam uh junior that they are just they they get it and they're seeing it and so there is value in even if like in jorge's case he's not the most experienced actor he knows he knows the story he's seen that he is not represented on stage when he goes to the theater so um i think that's valuable anything else you want to add to that particularly with your piece or it's okay if not (laughs) Um, and then what are your show's next steps? Like either what's in the works or what you want to like manifest into the world. Um, what's next? Next for us is, is hearing some of the music and making sure that it's supporting the story. And it, it's about getting, cause it's, the script is in a very strong place. So finishing the music and then doing a full reading uh, with professional actors and seeing what what's next after that, but finishing the music is our next is the next layer, I believe. Well, uh, there's a current layer. What's the current layer? I just came from rehearsal. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. So here, hearing it, yeah, yeah. In, there's a, there we're we have some some funding from the Miranda Family Fund. So, some supporting, uh, some support from the Miranda Family Fund to work with a uh, Latine production company here to develop some of the music. That's awesome. I love it. Well, and the the piece that we're so the chunk of the show we're doing, yeah, that song is so cool. Um, and we're we're because we have some inexperienced actors, we are struggling a little bit. Julio, it's you on the demo, right? No, it's the composer. Oh, it's oh, so it's Andre. Okay, so yeah. it's Andre on the on the demo, yeah. So we're we were working through that last night, and I and one of the things that I'm I'm hoping in however we can present it is that at the very least getting to see four bodies sing that piece or like represent the parts of that piece um, is sort of 
our goal with that, hoping that that's helpful. Because, yeah, I mean, that demo is fabulous. It's got some really great, I mean, you can get a really good feel for it. It's a bop for sure. Um, as we've said for multiple pieces in the show, it's kind of been a running gag. Um, but, um, yeah, no, I can, I can see that. And I think seeing the four bodies represent everything is, is important. Um, Andre's a genius. <laughs> no, it's, it's not that I pick favorites among the babies, but this is one of my favorites. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, we really, I want to, want to do it justice. We're trying. Um, so then the next one is why should Colorado theater think about producing this show um, or, or continuing the workshopping process with you? Colorado various theaters in Colorado. Yeah. Why, why, I mean, why should anybody do it? But why do you think Colorado should do it? I was just there in January and I was there last year. I've directed and choreographed um, in Colorado, nice. uh, most recently Colorado Springs. And so I, 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 I got a sense that the audiences there are interested in, in pieces like this that aren't so necessarily linear and structured in the way that we go to some musical theater, even though it has a structure, but they're very open to new kinds of theater. They're very open to these kinds of stories, to diverse music. And I really got a great sense that the... Like the two shows that I did, I did Elliot, A Soldier's Fugue, which was a Puerto Rican play about Puerto Rican characters in the military. And it was just the response that we received there. So I feel confident that this would play very well at various theaters in Colorado. There you go. Tracy, anything you'd like to add to that thought? Oh, no, I was hoping he would answer it because I, I've been, I've worked in Colorado, but it's been a while since I was there. And, I, and when I was submitting for this, Julio was in Colorado in that moment. And I thought, oh my gosh, we've been talking, talking about his experience there. And I thought, oh, this is this is a wonderful opportunity for this piece. That's really cool. I love that. I'm only sad I can't be there right now because I just moved. So it's just been a very busy last. Oh, for sure. And that's why weeks. we record, we'll put, it'll be up. We're, we're seeing if it'll live stream. We still have to figure that out. But if nothing else, it'll go up and you can watch it at your leisure, share, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then sort of the, the, I don't know, last question, if you will, um, is what other, what other pieces in the showcase are you interested to see more from that you've, that you've seen or you've heard about? What are you excited about or want to see more from? Well, we're not there, so we haven't been. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's fair. Yeah, it, that, that's totally fair. Um, and I did I, zoom in, but it was only, it was not only, but it was music only. So I haven't heard. And we're on a different time. Y'all are past my bedtime. I know. I know. You poor East Coast folk. Well, and this is, it's late for us here too. Like it's, it's like. Because you go, you go to like, 10, right? What's that? You go till 10, right? Yeah, we go till 10. And so yeah, like, it's, it's definitely one of those things where, uh, we have, yeah, poor Jorge, he gets up at like five in the morning. And so he's, he's, he's pulling some late nights. Um, and we've got like, we've got two teenagers in the, in the ensemble in the cast. And so like next week, Sophia will be going home at nine every night <laughs> so that she can go to school. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, it's definitely been challenging, but I mean, I, I think one of the other folks, one of their composers was like, I'm just excited to see more new work. And I think that's also a valid answer. And like, you know, I'm just, I, I am honored that you guys shared your work with us and you have um, helped, like been so lovely with all of my emails to, you know, <laughs> here's what we're going through. Here's our struggle. You know, how can we best represent your piece under the circumstances that we have and, and, and share it. And, um, you know, I, I wish, I wish I just had, you know, 10 Puerto Rican friends. I could just like, call them to live. Don't we all? I write like, yeah, no, need it was, it was definitely one of those things where I was like trying to find, trying to get my people and like, yeah, well, and, and Colorado also has like most Latin ex folks here are, are of Mexican descent. And so that's also like, uh, that's a Colorado, you know, regional yeah, sure. Challenge, if you will. But um, we did have an actor, uh, a Puerto Rican actor, who was very interested, but he doesn't sing. 
And so he would have been a fantastic Matos. But alas, he's like, I don't sing and I have conflicts. I'm like, darn it. Um, so that's we're okay. happy brown folks. Yes. Yes. In general. yes. Um, and when we were doing, we were reading, were we reading through it last night or the night before? We were like reading, finally like reading through the script portion of it. And Jeff, who's, you know, he is an, he's an old white guy who works for IBM. Like, and he, I would say that to, you know, he would say that about himself. And so he, as we're reading through it, there's a part where it says, I am, and then like insert here what you are. And the, the, the interesting dynamic of him saying, I'm white. And then having the rest of that scene play out was really fascinating and like very telling about like it, it added a layer that was very weird and interesting. Um, I'm going to go I back think... and see what it means to have have. Right. It was just it was so. That. That, yeah, that it up. was it was so funny. And then him talking about, well, it's like, you know, I auditioned. I'm talented. Like, why shouldn't I be in West Side Story? Like it did have this really interesting like almost uh -huh. commentary uh -huh. on white privilege that like was in the moment we're like uh oh that's that's an interesting layer so um yeah anyways that was just an, an, an honest yeah and honest and representative of what goes on in this country that's not the story we are we we are telling but that is a story that yeah it's a, it's a layer of it, right? to be told. Yeah. it's a layer of it that that yeah. you know when you see yeah no for sure um, so that's just kind of a, a an interesting, it was an interesting moment we had the other day. So, um, but anyway, yes, again, thank you so much for sharing your work with us and sharing your time with us today. Um, I love this piece. I think it's so cool. I would love to see it happen um, and do more. And I'm excited to see it grow. Um, it's just a really, really cool piece. Um, anything else you guys would like to add before we wrap up for the day? No, just thank you. We're excited. We're excited. Good. <laughs> Um, he's obviously excited too um so awesome well thank you guys so much i appreciate thank it you. have a lovely day thank you Bye. thank you Bye.